a choppy session on Bay and Wall Street, though we did see modest moves for the most part. We found out in the U.S. today the number of coronavirus cases has topped 3 million. Florida and Arizona reported an increase in cases, although at lower rates than the seven-day average. Now, at the same time, shares in Apple did hit a record. That company is seen as one that would likely be insulated from the pandemic. There is also talk about the Trump administration moving to destabilize Hong Kong's currency as a way to punish China. The price for gold still close to a nine-year high today, but once again, it really did not help Bay Street. Shares in Twitter jumping by 12% at one point today, and this was all because of a job posting. Now, as well, a meeting between Facebook executives and civil rights leaders did not go well yesterday amid the ongoing advertising boycott, which now includes hundreds of companies. So Facebook's loss could be Twitter's gain. After all, the social media website gets most of its revenue from advertising. But also, chatter is heating up about a paid subscription-based service on Twitter. There was a job listing saying as much under the code name Griffin. Twitter later edited that post and said there is no imminent announcement. Montreal-based David's T is filing for protection from its creditors, so it continue to operate while it restructures. Now, the chain says it's planning to close a number of stores and switch the focus to online and wholesale distribution. The chain opened back in 2008, and as it stands right now, it operates more than 200 stores in Canada and the U.S. The stock, which only trades in the U.S., was firmly in the red today. And it's the end of the line for another U.S. retailer. This time, we are talking about Brooks Brothers. The company, which says it put 40 U.S. presidents in its suits, managed to survive two world wars along with the shift to casual Fridays. But the coronavirus pandemic pushed the 200-year-old company into seeking Chapter 11 protection. Now, Barney's of New York sought bankruptcy protection last year, and that was followed by a slew of others since COVID-19 arrived in North America, including Neiman Marcus, J. Crew, and J.C. Penney. Brooks Brothers was started in New York back in 1818, making it possibly the oldest clothing company in the U.S. In the 680 Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker.